Hi, my name is Kieran O'Rourke. I'm 27 years old and I'm an aeroelastics engineer at Airbus UK. In my job, I, uh, I'm generally on any one time involved on a number of different aircraft projects. So Airbus could be developing uh, several different aircraft and my particular role would be performing uh, calculations on numerous different aircraft, different designs, uh, whether they be new aircraft, sometimes aircraft that are already in service. Um, so it's a very wide and varied uh, job. The calculations that I perform uh, relate to the flexibility of the aircraft. So although the aircraft are quite strong, made out of um, aluminium, uh, they do flex in, in flight. So uh, I have to carry out some calculations to try and determine how much the aircraft will, for example, the wing, how much it will distort uh, during the flight. If you can get it to distort in the way that you want, you can uh, make it use less fuel or fly further, carry more passengers. Because the, the job I do is quite, it's quite planned, it's, it's not very reactive, we, I usually know in advance the sort of uh, things that are, that are coming up. So during the day I might have to uh, build some, some models on the computer. Most of our calculations are, are done on a, on a computer, so I might build some models and uh, look at the results from the calculations. But the other aspect of the job is also being in meetings, discussing with other engineers what, what the results mean, or perhaps planning the next, the next piece of work. Uh, the department that I work for is split, up, split between here in Bristol, uh, Hamburg in Germany, and Toulouse in the south of France. So sometimes we have to work with, with our colleagues from uh, France or Germany, even travel to France or Germany. Sometimes it could be as simple as a telephone call or a video conference but it's, it's usually quite varied. In, in my job, I don't have to travel that frequently, but when we do, yeah, it can sometimes mean having to, to leave quite early in the morning and perhaps not get back to quite late at, uh, quite late at night. Uh, but no, in, in, in general, on a, on, a, on a typical week, you can work from eight, nine o'clock in the morning. It's quite a flexible start time through to four or five in the evening and a half day on a Friday. One particular piece of work I'm, uh, I'm doing at the moment is uh, for a, a research project where um, Airbus would like to try and uh, put some, some new pieces onto an, an existing wing. So uh, I've been trying to do some calculations to help the, the design engineers work out how big this piece needs to be, what shape it needs to be. So uh, we, we, we were having some problems with, uh, with this particular calculation and uh, uh, just quite recently we've, we've got to the bottom of it and we've been able to deliver a, a good specification to the people who, uh, who need the result and say look this is good to go on the aircraft. Uh, well I think for me a good day is um, perhaps when, when I've, I've got to the bottom of something that's, uh, that's been going wrong in, in some of our models or perhaps a particular calculation hasn't worked and you have to try and get to the bottom of where the problem was. Or also I'd, I'd say a good day for me is uh, perhaps when I've, when I've learned something new or perhaps when I've uh, been able to advance a particular piece of work or meet some, meet some new people. I think a bad day is probably when someone comes to see me to say look this is, this is all going wrong and adds another piece of work on my desk and then another piece of work on top of that. Uh, a bad day could be when when you just can't seem to understand what, what's going wrong with your particular calculation. You can't see how, how you might fix it. I, I would say to, to be able to work in a large multinational company like Airbus, you need to be a good team worker. You need to be able to fit into a team. You need to be able to uh, communicate with other people. Uh, perhaps languages could be an advantage, although the international language of Airbus is, is English. Having knowledge of French or German or Spanish could always be good. But I, I would say the, the key thing is to be uh, a good team player, to be enthusiastic, to be able to work closely with other people um, and to be quite dynamic. Uh, I've, I've been in the, the one job since uh, about a year and a half now. So uh, my current role is uh, developing into perhaps something where in two, three, four, five years time I'd quite like to um, have a little bit more technical experience but also build up some experience of managing people or perhaps experience of uh, working with our colleagues in France and Germany. Uh, something which gives me a little bit more exposure to other aspects of aircraft design.